What well, we're winning a drag race between a V6 Ferrari, a V8 Ferrari, and a V12 Ferrari. Well, we're gonna find out, because I'm gonna race a 296 GTB against an SF90 and an 812 Superfast over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Now let me tell you about this lovely 296 GTV. So we've got a three litre twin turbo V6, which has an electric motor in the gearbox. It's an eight speed dual clutch gearbox. And combined, the power output is 830 horsepower and 740 newton meters of torque. It weighs just under 1.5 tons, though that is dry weight. So you can probably add another 100 kilos, including fluids and all that kind of stuff. And it's quite expensive. Starting prices of this, 242,000 pounds. Lovely rear wheel drive supercar now let's move on to a four-wheel drive supercar the sf90 hey sam how are you i'm very well matt how are you i'm all right so tell me about your car you've got the eight cylinder car i've got the six cylinder but yours is more than just eight cylinders isn't it yeah this is the sf90 four liter twin turbo v8 it's a thousand horsepower 800 newt meters of torque it's driven all four wheels eight speed dual clutch gearbox it weighs 1.5 tons and it starts at 376 thousand pounds so very reasonable okay so quite a lot more expensive than this more power more torque more driven wheels got to have more performance just how much more we're going to find out in a moment and finally we come to the v12 and we've got my friend phil island driving that it is their own car tell us about your car phil my car is a 6.5 V12, naturally aspirated. It's got 200 cell sports cats, Novatec system, straight through, and it is 800 horsepower with 718 newton meters of torque. So basically, you've got the least torque, the least power, the most cylinders. I imagine being naturally aspirated, you've got the best noise, but we'll find out now, because we're gonna do a car wow sound check. <laughs> I can't hear it, Matt. If you think you can't hear this, have a listen to the SF90. Go on, rev that up. That's much better, to be fair. I can hear that. It's closer, though. Yeah, it's closer. This sounds better, I think. Put your window down, Sam. Hold on. No, you're right, you win. No. Yeah, there we go, so we're now about to lose. I don't have any hope against beating you two. I think you've got a phone call coming in, Phil. Is that someone to buy a performance car off you? No, that's actually my plumber, if I'm honest. So I'll, uh, I'll cancel that call. Are you actually gonna get your heating fixed? So Phil's got this lovely showroom out in the Cotswolds, Phil Island Performance Cars, go check that out. But even though it's a beautiful showroom and it's got an expensive heating system in it, the heating system doesn't work. Hopefully his car will work, we'll find out now. Now before we race, I think because you and I Phil are rear wheel drive, we get to warm up our tyres by doing some donuts and we won't let the SF90 because it has four wheel drive. So also we don't want you to show us up with your stunt driving skills. So I'll go first. Where you go, Phil. Oh, save some tires for the race. Oh, look at this. I can see again now. <laughs> Line up and we'll get on with this. I think my attempt was rather pathetic. Let's race. Not even in it. 
four wheel drive. That's all I got to say about that. I mean, this hooked up pretty well, did an all right time, but whew, extra 200 horsepower and four wheel drive. It was just insane. I was laughing the whole way. It, all four wheels were spinning off the line and it just didn't let up. It was amazing. Phil, what happened to you? Uh, I was just seeing you off, mate. I was way behind in that race. What actually happened to your car? Was it spinning up its wheels? Did traction not work? What happened? A lot of wheels spin off the line, to be fair. It launched okay, but the tyres are still fairly cold. Do you want to razz down there again, get some more heat into your tyres, come back, then have another go? Sounds good. Go on then, we'll, we'll see you on the start line. Same thing again. <laughs> Oof. So, same thing again. I think your launch might have been even better, Sam. <laughs> it was. There was barely any wheel spin that time. That is ridiculous. Mine was bang on the same. How about you, Phil? How was it for you? That was a much better launch, to be fair, lads, but they are unreal, those things. Did you get much wheel spin? And did it engage proper launch control? It went well. That was a lot better than the last time, put it that way. Do you know what? Let's just do one more. As your tyres get warmer, it's going to be doing better. Okay, just one last go. Three. Two, one. Oh, that hooks really nicely. Oh my God. Things are so fast. Yes, come on, come on. This thing is just doing the same thing over and over and over again. And the fact of the matter is, it's not as quick as the SF90. How was that one for you, Phil? I'd say that was a perfect launch, but yeah, there's no chance of getting anywhere near you two. Does it struggle with traction, or is it just your car is not as quick despite having all the cylinders? Yeah, I hate to say it, it's just not as quick despite having all those cylinders. Well, there you go. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the SF91, it completed the standing quarter mile in 9.9 .9 seconds. The 296 took 10.4 seconds and the 812 came last. It took 11.8 seconds to do the standing quarter mile. Want to sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price? Then head to CarWow to have over 4,000 trusted dealers ready to bid on it in an online auction. First, enter your car's registration to get an instant approximate valuation. Then, if you want to proceed, give us some more details and upload some photos, and we'll help you set a fair reserve price for your car. That's the minimum amount you'd be happy to sell it for. Once you've done that, we'll enter your car into an online auction. When the auction's over, we'll let you know the result, and the dealer with the winning bid will be in touch to arrange easy payment and free collection of your car. 93% of sellers surveyed said they got the price they expected, or more, through CarWow. The best bit is, it's completely free! I put a link in the description of this video and the pinned comment to take you directly to CarWow, where over 4,000 dealers are ready to bid on your car. Or you can just click on the pop-out button that should be appearing in the top right-hand corner of the screen now. Alternatively, just Google Help Me CarWow, and we will help you sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price. On with the video. Now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The car's in sport setting, but auto mode for the gearbox. I'm going to call it in. It's a race to the half mile. Three, two, one, go. That took ages to kick down. And the 812's already gone. Oh my God. That thing is insane. SF90 is just in another time zone. Can I beat the 812? Look at that. It's 
so this just didn't want to kick down. It just stayed in third and pulled and it was happy with that. But I wasn't because Sam, you had absolutely buggered off. Almost like you launched your car. I was nearly at 170 breaking the half mile there. This thing is just ungodly. It's so quick. It's hypercar performance, but it's still just a supercar. That 812 is a supercar, but in terms of performance, there's quite a bit between them because even though your car seemed to kick down and take off quicker, I eventually came past you on the half mile. That's why I said, mate, there's no chance on those drags that this is going to be anywhere near those two. Anyway, let's take the gearbox shenanigans out of the equation. Right, we're going to a rolling race from 30 miles an hour in second gear. Sport your setting. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. wrong Sam. <laughs> I changed lanes sideways mainly and then everything else went a little bit less wrong. <laughs> sorry Phil that might have been a bit scary for you. Mate sorry I missed completely misunderstood the consignment then I thought we were doing a brake test. <laughs> okay right now we're gonna do a rolling race in second gear from 30 miles an hour okay that's what we're gonna do in manual mode and the sport is setting for your car. Shall we do that again? Three, two, one, go. Oh my God. <laughs> Looks like Sam got traction that time. I may as well have been next to you two. For Christ's sake, they are fast. <laughs> that was just like full speed, full attack. That's the best your car could do. No wheel spin or anything. No, that they are just too, they are simply incredible, those two. There's nowhere near, nowhere near. Sam, so you got off really good. Looks like you didn't have wheel spin issues, but then once you built up this gap, it stayed as it was. And in some ways, I didn't think you were really getting away from me. This is all exciting at the start and then it kind of it levels out a little bit. But don't forget you're in a really, really fast car. Still one though. Still one. Very quick. But this, really, considering V6, two fewer motors, rear wheel drive, I think this is incredible. And as for the um, 812, sounds brilliant, but the performance, I can't believe I'm even saying this. It's just not enough in this company. Nowhere near. But then again, would I change it for one of those two? No. Well, there you go. It's quick enough on the road, that's for sure. Okay, now we're gonna have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. The car that stops in the shortest distance wins. If you'd rather watch another drag race with that Ferrari SF90, we're getting something amazing. Click on the pop-out banner up there. Here comes the line. Stamping on the pedal. Wow, your car's heavier, but it stops in the shorter distance there, Sam. Stops well this, doesn't it? I don't really know what happened to your car, Phil. What tyres you got on there? The ones that come with it, Pirelli's, but uh, I think they need changing personally to Michelin. Your car's doing a lot of beeping and bonging. It doesn't sound happy. What's the matter? It's upset, mate, because it's lost everything against you two and those things. <laughs> so it's just crying. Is that the car crying? <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming along, Phil, and showing us basically how far Ferrari has come with its cars recently. I just want to say a huge thanks to the people that have lent us their cars. Go follow them on Instagram or YouTube or whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. And that's all right, donut. We can do one in a minute. We'll do one in a minute. Anyway, I hope you Child. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. <laughs> Click on the windows to watch some more videos and on the CarWow logo to head over to CarWow compare these cars quarter mile times to other cars we've drag raced in the past. Thanks for watching.